I think one of the colossal failures of recent years is our failure to get the talks going between the Palestinians and Israelis. We just see now more fighting in Gaza. Uh, we see the uh, tensions. There have been some progress in the West Bank, uh, and I've seen some of it. Uh, but frankly, if I had been, I hate to use that phrase, but I would hope that President Romney, if he is elected president, the first thing he'd do, in my mind, and he'll hate me for saying this, is call the only man that I know that understands the issues completely and has the respect of all parties, and that's Bill Clinton. I would ask President Clinton to be the person that we need to bring these parties together and resolve this issue. There can be no real good relations between the United States and some elements of Arab countries as long as the Israeli-Palestinian issue is out there. You cannot ignore that fact. It's just a fact. And for four years now, there has been no progress whatsoever. And every time one of these dictators in the Arab countries gets in trouble, then the, conve the convenient outlet is attack on Israel. Use, play, play the Israeli card, play the Israeli card. Well, we need to remove that, but we also need to remove that motivation for young people in Arab countries to become radicalized. And so, uh, I, I, I am very sad, but I do believe that whether President Obama is re-elected or Mitt Romney is elected, that maybe we could start this thing all over. And I think you have to have somebody of the stature of Bill Clinton, and by the way, Nobody knows these issues like President Clinton does because he came that close at Camp David between Yasser Arafat and Ehud Barak to reaching an agreement. And it's one of the great tragedies that it, that it didn't happen.